All right, so let me guess. You probably just did a Google search for the best beach gear and all you're seeing, article after article, is the same old junk, probably written by a robot. If you're getting frustrated with that, like I was, be sure to hang out for this video. It's full of really cool stuff, so stay tuned. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. And if you're like me, you're looking for the perfect stuff to take on your next beach trip. So our family's lucky, we get to go to the beach typically once or twice a year. So I've played with lots of gear and gadgets over the years, but this year I wanted to be the year that I found the perfect thing to take with me in all sorts of categories. The perfect stuff to wear, the perfect gadgets, and most of all the perfect shade, because I'm super pale and I don't do well when I get sunburned. So anyway, this video is all about checking out the latest gear that's gonna make your next beach trip a huge hit. As always, I've shopped around and tried to find the cheapest prices I could online for you so be sure to check that stuff out down in the description but let's get right to it and start with some cool stuff you can wear all right i'm going to split this video into three different categories some stuff to wear awesome beach gear and then shades for the beach and i figured we start out with stuff to wear and kind of work our way from the bottom up so the very first thing we'll start with is kind of a beach essential and that is a good pair of sandals or flip-flops uh, i really like these these are the malibu surf riders i found these at huckberry and the reason why now you can find all sorts of flip-flops obviously uh, but I like these because they are super, super cushy, very, very durable. And chances are, if you're walking down to the beach, you may be spending your day like walking around a campground or going out to some restaurants and that sort of stuff too. So kind of the cheapo $2 sandals you get at Walmart probably aren't gonna cut it. They're gonna fall apart quick. They're not gonna offer a lot of support. These are pretty great. Like I said, it's super, super squishy, really easy to clean. You can rinse them off like anything else. Uh, but if you're spending a lot of time outside, walking the sand, walking the street or trails and that sort of stuff, these are a pretty great sandal to check out. Another beach essential, and of course I'm talking for the guys here, is a good pair of swim trunks. So again, the options of this sort of stuff is virtually limitless. I've tried a bunch of different stuff and I keep coming back to these Welland swim trunks. Found these on Huckberry. Um, and they come in a ton of different colors. They're cut just about right. It's just about the right length. Um, as far as going down your leg, kind of like a nice modern cut. They're super comfortable, they dry really quick, but the thing I really like about these is they're actually lined with a thick mesh layer, kind of like some of the modern athletic shorts that are kind of on trend right now where you don't wear separate underwear. Now, swim trunks that have built-in underwear are nothing new. It's normally that mesh junk that's just not comfortable. The reason why these are so great is, again, we talked about those sandals being awesome for going like the distance and walking down the beach and walking to restaurants. These are even better because that mesh lining really makes a huge difference in feeling comfortable when you're walking around, especially if you've already been like wet in the ocean or still trying to dry off. You can walk around these all day and they still feel super comfortable. So the well and line swim trunks are definitely my top pick. So if you're like me and a beach trip makes it feel like the sun is actually out to murder you, you're gonna want a good way to keep covered up and everything. And of course there's sunscreen and we'll talk about that here in a second, but I've really fallen in love with like a good sun shirt. Now you may go to like an outdoor store and feel like the sun shirts that feel like they're really thick or kind of that crazy nylon material, those suck and they're really hot. Uh, but this is actually pretty awesome. So Free Fly makes this really great uh, sun hoodie. They got a ton of these things on Huckberry, lots of different styles and colors and everything. Uh, but this material is super thin, very, very breathable, uh, dries out super quick. It's got a place to hook in your fingers on the end, so you can either push it up uh, if you're sitting under some shade or pull it down and kind of hook it in if you're hanging out in the ocean a little bit. Uh, but it also has a really great hood. Uh, but what I like most about this is it feels super comfortable. You do not get hot. It's got like some bamboo thread in there too that helps cool you off and everything. But really, really dig these. I think it's about a UPF 20, but in my experience, again, super pale. I was out all day in this thing, under shade a little bit too, but I never got burnt or even pink with these things on. So check these out. Free fly hoodies, you can't go wrong. If you're looking for a sun shirt, this is definitely it. Sunscreen, you've got to have it. And you may have a range of emotions about how you feel about sunscreen. It may not bother you at all. You may hate it. This stuff, you may have heard me talk about this in my summer EDC video, but the light as air sunscreen from Banana Boat is next level sunscreen. It goes on, you don't feel like you have anything on at all. It just rubs in and then goes away almost immediately. Feels great, really inexpensive too. There's really expensive sunscreens out there, but this stuff is surprisingly cheap. You can get it on Amazon, go grab a ton of tubes of it. You won't regret it. Something I picked up this summer that was actually a huge help at the beach was this Patagonia like black hole hip pouch, I think it's called. Uh, really cool, found this at Huckberry. This thing was a lifesaver, especially taking like super long walks down the beach and everything. A situation where you're probably soaking wet from hanging out in the waves. You don't want to cram your phone and your junk in your pocket. Just being able to sling this over and carry just enough stuff. It fit my phone, my wallet, a few other small things, a tiny little matador blanket. But having this thing was really, really great. And it folds down and packs down into this pouch, but you've got 
a big pouch in the middle, you got a small pouch in the front, like it weighs nothing. Really cool accessory you'll probably want to check out. All right, let's talk about sun hats and sunglasses for a minute. There's lots of different options out there, of course. Uh, kind of a current trend I've seen with the sun hats is the giant uh, Mr. Beast style straw hats. Really cool, you may love those things. I actually really love uh, these hats from Tilly. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Tilly, they make lots of kind of famous hiking and outdoor adventure hats. A really well-known company, has like an insane guarantee. You can see it actually like written inside the hat. Um, you can basically destroy these things and they'll send you another one. But this hat was totally awesome for the beach. The, the brim isn't actually outrageous or anything. It floats, it's waterproof, it's easy to clean up. It's got a strap on the bottom so in high wind it's not going to blow away. But if you're in the market for a sun hat that you can also use hiking or outside pretty much anywhere, Tilly hats are where it's at. And as far as sunglasses go, I've got two options kind of at the opposite ends of the spectrum. The first will start kind of at the high end because you may be somebody who wants to invest in some sunglasses that you're going to use forever. Maybe you're really responsible and never actually sit on yours. Uh, I recently upgraded these Maui gems, which tend to be a higher end sunglasses. This is actually some of the cheaper higher end sunglasses they make, but these are the Kio Kias, kind of a cool aviator style design. Uh, but the reason why I like these, they are crazy light. Uh, they have lots of polarization, lots of what they call anti-squint technology, so they're awesome for the beach. They're also very, very flexible and bendy, so even if you sit on them or stretch them a weird way, they're not going to break. Uh, but feel super, super comfortable. I think they look pretty cool too. On the bottom end of the spectrum, if you want to get a pair of sunglasses that you can invest in and then not completely hate yourself if you ever lose them, uh, Huckberry makes these awesome weekender sunglasses around 40 bucks, and they're still polarized and everything, still look really good on. I think they're really comfortable and still pretty lightweight too. By the way, I don't think I threw these on. These are how the Kio Kias look. Really nice pair of sunglasses. They're both really, really light, but as far as an inexpensive pair that are kind of a knock around pair of sunglasses, before you go buy something like Gooder or Shady Rays or one of those other knockoff brands online, uh, Huckberry makes some good stuff. So throw these in the cart, you may really dig those. All right, one more final thing to recommend here before we move on to the gear category, and that is these body wipes from Clean Freak. You're gonna want something to get all that gross sunscreen off, and these Clean Freak wipes are where it's at. These are a killer accessory. They're awesome for traveling. Anytime I go on a plane, I keep these with me to kind of clean up in the airport, but what it is, is basically like a jumbo wet wipe. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel gross at all. It comes in this towel, it's about a foot by a foot, uh, really stretchy, but you can wash from top to bottom with this stuff. It'll take all that sunscreen off. Um, it'll take all the dirt and grime and sand and everything else. Also, these are unscented, which is nice. They come in a few different uh, scents and varieties and that sort of thing. But if you need a good way to clean up at the end of the beach day and not feel gross when you go out for tacos, this should be at the top of your list. Okay, moving on to gear. This is where things start getting really fun. Lots of really cool gadgets to check out in this section. So first up, you're going to the beach. You're going to want somewhere to sit. Now you may be totally fine just sitting down on a mat or something. We've got an option for that here in a second. But if you're looking for a chair, you'll be hard pressed to find a better option than these click chairs. You've probably seen me talk about these before if you ever saw my ultimate camp chair comparison. We always keep these in the back of the car, but these are actually perfect for the beach too, mostly because they pack down really small. They're super easy to set up and tear down. And they only weigh like four pounds. Uh, if you haven't seen one of these before, you just undo them and the legs flip out and then you just kind of extend these poles to pop them open. As you can see, ours is well loved. I've had it for years now. Uh, but another cool thing, it's got pockets in the side and everything, really easy to tear down just by pressing this button on the bottom. But all around, great beach chair is actually super easy to take down to the beach with you. I mentioned mats just a second ago is a super easy solution that a lot of people love for the beach, maybe just to sit down or lay out and get some sun and that sort of thing. Rumpel makes some pretty awesome stuff with their everywhere mats. They're sand resistant, they're waterproof, they got little pockets in the corner where you can stuff in sand to weigh them down and everything. The bag has this little clasp right here that you just unhook to roll your mat out. And all you do is just kind of roll it out and shake it loose. Ours still has some sand in it from the beach and everything but you can see even the mini mat is a huge surface right here the regular size one is quite a bit bigger but a pretty affordable great option if you're looking for a way to keep things clean at the beach speaking of rumple another great option to consider is their everywhere towel you could actually probably use this in place of a mat if you're not worried about like water just soaking up through it but these are really awesome again super small for what they are these are full-size towels here i'll roll one out here so we can check it out but made of kind of like a chamois material really great stitching on both sides I'm going to pan it across camera there so you can see all of it. Uh, but awesome product, weighs nothing, rolls down to nothing. But man, we dried all the kids off with these things. They come out of the ocean just soaking wet, covered with barnacles and everything else. Uh, but these are super great. Even have a little hanging hook. This one has it in the corner here, but a little clasp where you can hang it up at the bathhouse or back at the camper or, or beach house or whatever. But if you're looking for a towel that will last you forever, dries off super fast too. It takes up way less space than a normal towel. The Everywhere Towel from Rumpel is a really cool product. So if you plan to spend all day at the beach, you're going 
going to want a cooler. And if you want a cooler with you, then you're probably going to want the best. And that is the Yeti still. Uh, man, this is the Hopper Flip 12. Uh, I feel like just the right size for the beach. Uh, holds like, I don't know, 20 cans or something like that. Just the right amount of food and drinks and stuff for our little family of four. But I love this thing. I love it that it's not super heavy. It's all soft-sided. I love it they can take an absolute beating. It's got the most robust zipper I've ever seen. We'll talk about that here in a more in a second. Uh, it's sand repellent. You can get all sorts of water and everything else on it. So it's made to take an absolute beating, but still only weighs like two and a half or three pounds empty, something really, really light. Uh, the other thing I really like about these, uh, here's that super crazy zipper. Uh, they have these Yeti ice packets. These, this is the Yeti ice uh, thin version here. Uh, but this is the perfect size for the freezer and a camper that makes it uh, where you can freeze it at night or during the day when you're back for a little bit. It freezes super quick because of that hole in the middle. Uh, really great, but just the perfect size. You can see the inside of the cooler here. The perfect size for the bottom of this. You may want to get a few and kind of stack your food with that stuff but really great. Like I mentioned, this zipper, it is totally waterproof and probably like bomb proof or whatever else. But the only complaint I have is it's pretty difficult, especially one-handed to actually zip this thing up. You gotta put some effort into it. So much so they actually make a little accessory that comes with it. It looks like chapstick, but don't put it on your lips. This is zipper lubricant. It helps it uh, slide shut a little bit easier. But all around a great cooler. Uh, it kept our stuff just like freezing cold all day long. Probably could have left stuff in there for days and it would stay cold. And what I like too is it's so squared off at the top that you can kind of use it as a makeshift table too at your campsite. Super great option. Of course, Yeti coolers charge a premium price. Everybody knows that. Uh, but they actually just rolled out a new program that's a more affordable way to like get in that Yeti ecosystem where they have some uh, products that they're not necessarily recycling, but since this stuff is going to last probably a lifetime anyway, uh, you can actually buy a, a slightly or gently used Yeti now on their website. Be sure to go check that program out uh, at the link in the description. But overall, perfect beach cooler, I have to say, is this Yeti Hopper Flip 12. Another thing you're going to want if you're hanging out at the beach all day is some music. And I've got two really good options for you. Again, kind of like the sunglasses I have, kind of a entry-level option and like the ultimate option. The entry-level is actually one of these. This is a Wonderboom speaker. Again, it's Bluetooth. has everything you expect from Bluetooth. Little microphone, controls, syncs with your phone, all that stuff. But this thing lasts about 12 hours. I believe it floats and everything as well, but turns out surprisingly good sound. Charges, I think, with uh, micro USB. Uh, this has been a great little speaker to have, but uh, if you're at a beach like I was, where it's super windy and loud and you have kids yelling and everything else, uh, then you can't really hear that music all that well. It just sounds kind of like a murmur in the background. So what you need is the ultimate outdoor Bluetooth speaker, and that is this, the Turtle Box. Probably the most ridiculous, rugged, over-engineered Bluetooth speaker I've ever seen, but this thing is ridiculously cool. I found this thing on Huckberry. They have a few different colors of these as well, but it's everything you'd expect from a Bluetooth speaker and then a whole lot more. All the controls are up here on the top. You just press to turn it on and you have all the options that you could want and everything. Uh, but the big claim to fame here, we'll talk about the ruggedization in a second, but first up, this thing is like 120 decibels on max and crystal clear that volume. Just can be insanely loud. Now, of course, if you're at the beach, you don't want to disturb the natural environment, the other people around you, but you can crank this thing up so your little sphere of, you know, 20 feet or so, you can hear it pretty good. This is the perfect fit for that, but also it's so rugged, it's over the top ridiculous. You can basically drop this in the ocean, it'll float, it'll be okay. You can wash debris off. I got it back to the camper at night and I just wash all the sand off, which was great, but it also has a battery that lasts like the entire week. I don't even think I had a look at recharging it. And plus, we actually had a power outage at our camper where this came in handy, where I was able to use this little port in the back, which again, locks down to where it's totally waterproof. But if you look inside of it, it's got a headphone in, headphone out. It's got a microphone port and it has a USB-C charging output, which is insanely crazy. Really awesome product. If you spend time outside at all, maybe camping, maybe overlanding or at the lake or on a boat or at the beach, and you're looking for the best speaker there is for outside, Turtle Box is where it's at. On the totally opposite end of the spectrum, maybe you're like me and like to spend like half your day at the beach just reading, then you definitely need to pick up a Kindle Paperwhite if you haven't already. Uh, picked this thing up just a few months ago. I've had an e-reader before and I thought they were all kind of the same experience, but I finally upgraded to this thing. It has been fantastic. It's backlit. The battery life is so good. It lasts for like two months or something. Being able to have your entire library sitting at the beach instead of carrying like a stack of books and everything is totally awesome. And don't forget that you can actually connect to your local library with these two and get a ton of really popular books books just downloaded like that to borrow for like three weeks at a time. If you're into reading at the beach, it doesn't get better than this. All right, so I'll round out the section with just a few more quick gadgets. So we were obviously at Florida at the beach, and when you're in Florida, you're going to have some mosquitoes. And if you're around a bunch of mosquitoes, man,
man, one of these thermocells is an absolute lifesaver. So this is one of their battery powered models. They can last a ton of time. You can just pop in one of these cartridges. It comes in packs of three. It comes with one that lasts about 12 hours, but I went ahead and cut the refill kit with 40 hours for each cartridge. Uh, so it'll last you the whole summer and then more. But what this does is basically just heat that thing up and puts like a 20 foot dome of protection around you works super, super awesome. We're sitting out around the camper at night where normally we'd just be eating up with stuff. You see a few mosquitoes here and there, but they weren't biting anybody, just a complete and total game changer. So definitely invest in a thermocell if you're spending any time at all outside this summer. Something else we were able to put to good use at the campground was the BioLite Fire Pit Plus, which you may have seen in my summer EDC video as well, but this thing is super great if you're gonna use it for a smoke-free fire at the beach or maybe just a nice fire back at the campsite. But what we actually used it for is it also turns into a hibachi grill, so it was killer for burgers, uh, made that cold heat up super quick and last for a long time so again very flexible product be sure to check those things out something else we actually used a whole lot as well was this one of these battery powered fans from treva so i actually got this a few years ago for a camping trip uh, but what it is it can run on d batteries or you just recharge it on the side but it is just a really nice uh, surprisingly powerful little fan. You can direct it in a few different ways and everything. You can actually hang it up from this handle if you want or just sit it on the ground. I'm gonna turn it off because it's kind of loud. But if you're at the beach one day when there's no breeze or something, or again, back at the campsite where you're just hot and that sun's baking you, man, having a fan like this is a total game changer, well worth the initial investment. All right, we're about to move on to the shade category, but before we do, I wanna talk about one final piece of gear that we actually need to haul all the other gear uh, down to the beach every day. And that is this awesome cart from Tupelo. They have these on Huckberry. Um, but this is one of those things when I searched online, what's the best beach cart? I saw the same repetitive list that was just random junk products from Amazon with no consideration to how well these things work. So I did a ton of research and when I finally found this, uh, this one on Huckberry, um, it really spoke to me in a number of ways. One, it was super sturdy, had a great warranty, um, is actually significantly lighter than the other carts I found. It also packs down surprisingly small. You can see how flat that is. The tires, even though this one just spun out, the tires actually make this thing fold down to, I think it's like seven or eight inches flat. So we can just slide it in the back of the truck and put a whole bunch of other stuff on it. But a total game changer for every day at the beach. It was super nice just to unfold this thing, load everything up. Where our campsite was, we had to be a good three quarter of miles from the beach. There's a super long, a boardwalk you can kind of see it here on the video but it is an enormous walk every day to take all of our stuff down there so if we didn't have something like this we would have been totally screwed and out of breath the kids would have been way down with stuff on them every day but this is super nice it was also nice just having it at the beach to keep the stuff elevated and off the sand that we didn't want to load and unload um, but a total game changer if you don't have a cart definitely get one and i'd highly recommend the tupelo cart i'm pretty sure it's just about the best option out there so let's wrap this thing up by talking about shade on the beach. And I'm going to tell you right now that this was the most surprising category of all the gear that we covered for this video. Uh, this result kind of blew me away. So like you, I went online, searched best beach shade, narrowed down a bunch of options. Uh, I found this pretty awesome, highly recommended uh, tent from Nesso. Nesso makes great stuff. This is the Nesso Grande. It's about a nine foot tent. It kind of follows that typical pattern where you stretch the sides out and fill it full of sand and put some poles up. Saw a ton of tents that work like this on the beach and everything. So I thought for sure, this is gonna be the go-to option. But our very first day getting there, setting it up, and even just kind of mid-level wind or whatever, this thing was a total bear to get up. But what wasn't was the other option that I tested out. That is the Shibumi Shade. And you may or may not have seen these online. I actually saw these on Instagram for weeks while I was doing some research for this project. But I'll just tell you this right up front. This product is absolutely stellar showstopper the best thing i've covered in this video made a giant difference for us at the beach so much so that although i was testing both of these and everything i brought the nesso down the first day and set it up i'd already set the shibumi right before it uh, but this works so incredibly well and covered us so well that i didn't even set up the nesso the rest of the week i'm probably just going to return it so what the shibumi is it weighs like maybe three and a half four pounds just in this little simple bag here so it doesn't take up much space at all it's got a little strap where you can throw it over your shoulder uh, that's half the appeal of this thing. It's so easy to carry out. You can just throw it on a kid and they can take it down to the beach with you. But the setup takes like a minute. I'm talking like the very first time I ever set it up. Uh, you just pull out these poles, stretch them out, put them about six inches in the sand on both sides, uh, slide the shade over. And if you have wind at all, like three mile an hour winds or more, which we definitely had every day in this trip, the shade just immediately goes up and out and it is killer. Uh, you fill up the little bag at the end with sand to keep it all sitting up and everything. 
but it goes up incredibly quick. It stays up no matter the conditions. Again, our family actually also have one of the tents where you push sand down the end and it was a bear to keep up and to set up and to take down every day. The Shibumi was no effort whatsoever. Incredibly awesome. The only issue, and you'll hear people talk about this online, is it can be kind of noisy if the wind's really high. Uh, at the end of the week, the wind got super high, like 20 miles an hour um, every day. Uh, so this stayed up, no problem. Again, other tents are falling down all over the place. This, that's not an issue for this. Stayed up, uh, super great. But it was kind of loud. You hear that kind of loud flapping. I'll kind of try to put some of that in this video so you can hear a little bit of it. But all in all, if you take my advice on anything from this video, I'm telling you this Shibumi shade was a complete game changer for the beach. People were stopping us every day asking what it was and where they could get it. A little pricey, but as far as an investment goes that you can use your entire life at the beach, just doesn't get much better than that. UPF 52, just a killer product. That is it guys, everything I can think of to recommend to you for the most awesome beach trip. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these accessories. As always, I've shopped everywhere I could online to try to find the best deals in this. That'll be down in the description of this video, so be sure to check those links out. And I hope you found something totally awesome that'll make your next beach trip that much better. If I missed something that you think I should know about, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you dug this video, be sure to hit that like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more cool gear and stuff like this down the line. We'll see you next time.